Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to compare DGRO with Jeppy. I will look on the expense ratio, backtest performance, dividend growth, also dividend yield. Then I will look on the holding sectors and also fund overlap. So you will know it all. Now if you want to learn how we can make money with ETFs and what are some good sectors investment strategies, I created a course and you would find it down below in the link in the description. And also, if you know some good ETFs that you want me to compare, share it down below in the comments and I'm really happy to do that. So without further ado, let's start. DGRO and JEPI. When we go further, we see that first big difference is the expense ratio. 0.08 comparing DGRO, JEPI 0.35%. What does it mean is that JEPI, you would pay $35 if you would invest, let's say $10,000. Comparing to DGRO, it's only $8. When you look here on the assets under management, you see it's higher with DGRO and average daily volume is kind of similar, but higher with DGRO. Now, uh, on this free, in these free things, the GRO is better. But uh, don't be tricked about expense ratio. This is really important, guys, because many people are judging when you have high expense ratio that you shouldn't invest into that. Many times, uh, when there is a high expense ratio, there's a possibility of higher um, returns. So we will look on in we will look on it and how well it's actually performing. Now. Number of holdings, no underlying index for JEPI, DGRO got Morningstar US Dividend Growth Index, number of holdings 391, comparing to 93 on JEPI. And when we look every spread here, you see it right here, 0 0.04 comparing to 0 0.02 on the DGRO. And now when we go even further, uh, let's look on uh, holdings and sectors. So you see technology 20% comparing to JEPI, technology 18%. 19% close to healthcare, 17 comparing to 14. Consumer cyclicals, 13.69 comparing to 10. Financial, 17 comparing to 13% in JEPI. So you see many times they are similar, but let's look on the holdings, what are actually focusing on. You see that many times Microsoft Corporation Alphabet Microsoft Corporation, Pfizer, Apple, JP Morgan Chase, Home Depot, Thermo Fisher Scientific, DT Energy Company. So you see even like unknown companies with JP. And when you look here and let's open the side of it. For, with over 50 years of combined experience in fundamental equity investing and option strategies, and portfolio employs a proven bottom-up research process with stock selection based on proprietary risk adjusted stock ranks. And uh, we can look on the performance and fees here and we will get into it. And how well it's actually growing. And now let's see how uh, is the fund overlap here when we look on the stocks here. So fund overlap and DGRO and JP. Look at this. We can see that 15%, 15.5% of DGRO 388 holdings we could find in JP. And 65% of JP 91 holdings we would find DGRO. And we see that the overlap by weight is 32%. Now, of course, uh, you can see the Finance here, the tech, the healthcare, which is heavily dominated in DGRO. On the other hand, we see real estate, staples, energy uh, in JEPI. So you see that this is the difference here. Now, you see also those companies which are overlapping with right here. United Health Group, PepsiCo, Microsoft Corporation. And let's see the back test performance. DGRO and JP. Now the thing is that you won't really find uh, big differences because like years down the road we would see more. But right now um, when I would invest like initial amount of $10,000 and we are going to contribute $500 monthly, um, we are going to be only in January 2021. So you won't really find that much difference when you will look on a back test performance, like it will be different if we would be, let's say, five, 10 years down the road, right? 
But as you can see, the portfolio too got higher. I mean, JP got a higher uh, dividend yield comparing to a DGRO. Now, important to say, guys, is that you can see clearly here when you look on a performance and fees. And where is the overview? Attractive yield versus other asset classes. And these are the portfolio managers. Now, and we have also the capital gains here. Now, when you look here on, this is DGRO and we're going to have Jeppy. We see that A minus and 8 is a dividend scorecard here. Here is A minus and B for DGRO. And when you look here on the dividend yield, we see like 2.30, 2.21, 2.44. Here we see that 5.79, we have average yield is 2.29 here on average yield, year end yield 5.79. And right now you see that 2021 is going to end up really good. Comparing to 2020. And it's only in January, so. Yep, so we can see clearly here uh, that Jeppy is really well and I can really look on the dividend growth but it looks really interesting to me so when you have like good performance from it uh, it can be worth it but that's pretty much it I can't really say much about about this when you look on the portfolio and we look on the old holdings information technology industrials healthcare other real estate and when you look at look at these those companies they have hmm. alphabet energy thermo fisher so they are like picking it up so to summarize this whole video guys yes they have higher expense ratio jeppy but we don't know what the future will bring. I didn't. I wouldn't go like all in, but maybe I would invest into that uh, with QYLD and like like around 25 percent covered call ETF. That's something that I would go with QIL with the JP uh, and those kind of like um, maybe even Arc if you want to uh, as uh, active management ETFs. And this is a covered call ETFs. So that's pretty much it. Let me down in the comments your thoughts on both of these ETFs that I compared right now. Which one you like more? Now, DGRO got good history. When you look here on a dividend growth, we can see clearly the DGRO is doing really well. It got growth stocks. It's a good choice to invest to. With Jeppy, it's a new thing. So I can really say that it's like amazing and you should definitely do it completely up to it got good potential with good uh, dividends and yeah thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye see ya